Okay, so in this episode, we are going to see how we can use a syntax highlighter, basically the Prism JS in our block system. So with that, I am your host Sarthak and this is the channel where I talk about Laravel and the cool thing about Laravel. So if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. Okay, so you can see we have this prism.js, prismjs.com and here we have syntax highlighters. Okay, so we will going to use these kind of syntax highlighter and there are various kind of variations are here. You can see these kind of variations are here, but I basically like this Okaidia, I don't know how to pronounce it, but Okaidia. Okay, so I like this one. It's pretty nice. Color system is good. So let's see how we can use. So we just have to download it. But when we are going to download it, it will ask us many things. So firstly, the theme is Okaidia. Then language. I want every language to be here. So uh, yeah, if you want to have only some kind of language yeah you can select that okay so let's go and here we need to give some highlighters plugins so plugins are copy to clipboard that's very nice data url normalize white space unescape markup keep i think every plugin is very nice browser preview preview color preview gradient everything is good so let's just select everything okay so I have selected everything on this uh, plugins and let's just download CSS so download CSS and download JS yeah I have switched these two but <laughs> I think you know what I mean download CSS and download JS okay so let's see how we can use these things in our existing project okay so let's just go and open this in sublime so here we have and now we have to go to that download section and we have this prism.js and prism.css let's copy these things and we want everything on our blog system so here we are and plug a public that will be on user side so css for css thing and js for js things okay so we have everything here and we just have to go to our admins and post and post dot blade and here we are going to type but we have to include that css tags in our user site so that user can see the effect of these things so the post is here and here in the heading we have to include that thing so for that we have created the section called uh, head section so we have to give this in our head section so i will open post.blade.php and here i will provide head section so head section let's say I will give head section here so that because it's a section not a yield so I have to end this section also and here I will provide that link which is uh, like this so I will say asset and then I will say user slash CSS I think this is the path correct user CSS and prism dot Yes. so user css slash uh, prism dot css so that's okay and same thing we have to do on the footer part so footer part let's see how we have given the name of footer part so footer we have given footer simple footer and nothing else so that will be at section of footer and inside this I will create a script and the source of this script will be again asset and inside asset we will say here user slash js slash prism dot js okay so very simple 
and let's just go and start the server so php artisan artisan serve so let's go and start the local host i want to go to admin side and the post and here we let's just edit first one so we have included these things the css of prism the js of prism and let's just go and edit this one so what i will do just maximize this ck editor and here i will say pre okay and okay i think that should be like this because otherwise that will be bold so i don't want that so pre okay and inside pre we have to type code so code and now actual code which is let's say p that means i'm, I'm typing the css thing p color is red and that's it let's save this go to post the first one and scroll down and you can see it's having this color okay but it's not actually what we have seen on the Aquaria type thing. So now some problem and some solution. So first thing first, the problem. Problem is with our CK editor. So if I go here and I maximize it, you can see it's now compiled that HTML. That means the pre and the code part. So if I go here once more and cut this out, go back and paste it here and we have to do all these things so actually what's happening here we have prism on the front end but we don't have any prism connected to ck editor so we have to make sure that ck editor also understand the prism part so for that let's just go and type ck editor builder so let's just go here and for this builder we are on the ck editor builder and we want the full and yeah here we have to give the ck editor uh, the plugin of prism so i will say prism you can see prism syntax highlighter let's just include this in our selected plugins so prism we have these here and there are lots and lots of other features other plugins also you can play with these things but it's just for informing you that you can build anything with ck editor and that's very pretty awesome thing so so we have this prism selected here so the style whatever you want doesn't matter so we have many options here and let's just download this ck editor oops accept tournament conditions building editor yeah okay yes it's now downloaded yeah actually i will subscribe it later but let's just open this ck editor zip file and here let's just copy everything so let's just copy this one okay ck editor everything is zipped out so copy this and go to public admin and here i will paste that ck editor okay so now i don't want it here so delete close this folder and now here you can go whenever you can go to admin post edit you can see at the bottom we have included the CDN part of CK editor but now we have used the builder to customize our CK editor so we have to use our JS for the CK editor we have on our root file so here I will say admin slash then that will be CK editor and slash CK editor dot JS let's just go and we have two times this so delete this one and this one also let's just do the same thing for the post we have then done this for edit let's just do same thing for post that's good close this and go back to our this one refresh and let's just go view source at the bottom ck editor is working that's good and now let's maximize it and you can see it's now understanding the code so let's just delete this one we don't want this 
now create new one so i will say pre inside pre the code and code will be p uh, color is color is red curly braces semicolon before curly braces now close the code tag and close the pre tag okay now we have to give the language so class will be language dash css okay save this file go back refresh and yes we have copy option it's giving the css that is css thing here and when i go back maximize it you can see it's now have these things here so this is the thing you can use the prism js in the front end and in the back end if you have any doubt please feel free to comment me and message me on facebook twitter and instagram don't forget to subscribe and support me on patreon also and we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye